Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my February favorites. There's some makeup, there's some other stuff, just some random stuff that I purchased that I liked that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, this is kind of January too because I don't really buy a lot of makeup. I try to save my money now because, you know, ugh, your girl got some student loans due now. So, yeah, if you want to see my February favorites, then please keep watching. So my first favorite of the month is my new Starbucks cup. I got this new Starbucks cup on Valentine's Day. It's an exact replica of the plastic cups that you would get at Starbucks. I don't really drink Starbucks, but I really like their cups because they're really cute and I have a lot of them. I love them. So yeah. My next favorite is really random. They are socks. Um, so I was in Walgreens and they have these fuzzy socks. They're super fuzzy. They're super comfortable. They are a dollar at Walgreens, and they have a whole bunch of them. Um, I really like these white and pink ones. I have gray and pink ones. I have plain gray. I have plain black. I have these ones. I am a sock hoarder. Um, I have socks that I've had since middle school. I don't know why. I just really like socks. Um, I like to sleep with these socks because my feet get really cold, so I like to sleep with some fuzzy socks to keep my feet warm. So I really like these and they're only a dollar, so what could be better? So my next favorite, I had seen people talk about this for a really long time and how it was a miracle for skin and I really wanted to try it out. So I went and picked up some witch hazel like in the middle of January, I think, um, and I've only used this much of it. so. It lasts a really long time. It was about $3 at Walmart, and you actually get it in the first aid section, not the skin makeup section. So, a little tip for you. Um, but basically, my skin has never looked better. All the dry patches have gone away. All my breakouts have gone away. I still have little breakouts here and there, but whatever. This stuff is amazing. Go pick up some witch hazel. You will not regret it. So, I like to take really hot showers, and because of this, my skin would always be really dry and irritated and it would be hard for me to sleep. So for the past couple months I had been using cocoa butter and it just got really time consuming to dry off and then put cocoa butter on each leg and each arm and on my body and ain't nobody got time for that. So I went and picked up the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Guys, listen. This stuff is so amazing. Oh my god. So basically, it's like a lotion that you put on while you're wet, and let me tell y'all, this stuff made my skin feel so soft. It smells so good. It's um, cherry almond essence. I don't know. It says original scent, but you can get this at Walmart. I think it was around $6, but I ended up getting a $2 coupon. It had it already on there, a $2 coupon. So basically, I got it for $4 at Walmart. But that stuff is so cool. Basically, all you do is you shower like normal, you wash your body like normal, and then when you're done and you turn the water off, while you're still wet, before you dry off, you put this stuff on your legs, on your arms, on your body, and then you just pat dry. And this stuff makes your skin feel so soft. Go get this, it's so amazing, oh my god. So before I show you my next favorite, there's a little backstory behind this. So. Basically, like three years ago, I had no idea what hair care was or how to take care of your hair. I would shampoo, condition, that was it, bye. Um, so basically, I would get out of the shower, I would let my hair air dry, and then I would go to sleep, and I would wake up in the morning, and then I would try to brush it. I wouldn't brush it while I was wet. I don't know why. It was just too tangly. It was too much. It was too difficult to work with. So when I tell you there was a rat the size of a baseball on this side of my head that would not come out. I No amount of detangler, no amount of conditioner could get this rat out of my head. And I would never wear my hair down. It was about this length, maybe right to here is how long my hair was at this time. And I never wore it down. I always wore it in a bun just because trying to get the rat out was too difficult. So basically one day I woke up, I went to work, and then straight after work I went to the hair salon. I walked in, I said, cut it all off. I want a short bob, cut it off. She was like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, cut it, I'm done, I'm cut it. Just, I don't wanna deal with it anymore. So basically she cut it into a short bob, it was shaved in the back, I loved it. But <laughs> you know when you cut your hair short after having like longest hair and then you're like, 
oh my god, I want my long hair back, and then you regret cutting your hair. Well, that was me, so I made a vow not to cut my hair for a really long time. I wanted to grow it out, and that's basically what happened. So I haven't cut my hair in almost three years. Uh, so basically, here down is split ends. Um, but you really can't tell. I mean, my hair looks healthy because I try to take care of it now. So this brings us to the product. This is the Bedhead Ego Boost Split End Mender. Guys, this stuff is amazing. I mean, can you tell that all this is split ends? Probably, but I don't really care because I can't. Um, so basically how I use this is I will get out of the shower. I will put my hair in my little hair wrap, let it dry just a little bit. And then all I'll do is squirt like three pumps of this into my hairbrush and then brush through my hair. And I'll make sure to get the ends really good. Um, and then that's basically it. I'll wake up and my hair looks really good. So this you can get at Ulta. I believe it's like $18.99. It is kind of high up there in price. But when I bought this, it was only $9. It was like 50% off. I was really surprised. So go pick this up at Ulta. See if there's a sale go do it bye my next favorite is a junk food these guys you guys you guys this is my second bag in a week okay and it's i mean it's almost gone and I, then i'm gonna have to buy another one these are the keebler animal crackers that are frosted um they're like a dollar fifty at walmart and i freaking love these things i cannot stop eating them they're addicting yeah, that's basically all there is to say about those so my first makeup favorite is the la girl pro matte foundation um i had tried this out in a first impressions video and after the wear test i wasn't too sure about it i tried it like two more times and there was just a problem with it like it 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 wasn't doing <laughs> it was just not matte like it was just like liquefying on my nose but like two weeks ago i decided to give it another shot and i tried it a different way and it is so good the coverage is good um i do still get a little bit oil but like just this mess like like just a little bit so go pick this up i think it was 8.99 at ulta really good so the next favorite is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, um, their new concealer. Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, I think it was like six bucks. Um, amazing. Really good coverage. Go get it. That's all I need to say. Go buy it. Another Makeup Revolution item that I picked up in the past month or so is this palette. This is the Iconic Neutrals 2. So when I first saw this palette, these colors just called to me. Like, look at these colors. I can't. I think this palette was like $10, I want to say, maybe. But basically, I'll take these three brown shades right here, and I'll mix them together, and I'll put them on my eyes and call it a day. Um, super easy. That's like my everyday thing. Um, I really like this. I have a couple Wet n Wild favorites for this video. The first is the felt tip eyeliner from wet n wild and this is in black i forgot how much i love this eyeliner I'm basically like look at this i mean it's black and it's good i really like this eyeliner it makes it super easy to make a wing and i think this is like four dollars i love wet n wild's products so yeah next wet n wild product is the matte finish spray i believe this is five dollars um, your makeup's not going anywhere with this. This is really, really good. I actually ended up pick. I actually picked this up because I saw. Ta I actually picked this up because I saw Tati talk about it, and she said she really liked it. It does have like that weird alcohol smell, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I really like this. It's really. It's $5. Go buy it. My next favorite is one of my favorite products of this past month. I picked this up just because I wanted to try it. Um, it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks. If you can see that highlight right there. <laughs> this is a Wet n Wild highlighter in Blossom Glow. Um, hi. And it's like $4. Do I have to say anything else? No. I only have three more products. This one is a lip liner from Essence. This is a lip liner plum cake um basically it's just a good 
plum purpley nude lip liner and that's basically it. It's a good one. The next product is the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. Um, this is really good for concealing the brows. It's super quick. It's a lot easier than taking a brush, putting concealer on your hand, picking up that concealer, carving out your eyebrows. It's just a lot easier. It's I, I really love it. So my last favorite for this video is a brush from Morphe. This is some type of flat top, some type of brush. I don't even know. Um, but basically, I'd probably die without this brush. Um, I use this to... I had... I, Listen, I use this for everything. If I decide I want to contour my nose, mm -hmm, this is what I use. If I decide I need to blend out my concealer a little bit more underneath my eyebrows, this is what I use. If I need to clean up my eyeliner wing with some concealer, <laughs> this is what I use. If I get a little cray cray on my lipstick and I need to clean it up a little bit, can you guess what I use? this brush listen i don't really care i'll use this brush for anything um and yeah it works it's really good to clean up those lines it's really good to do that and do that and do that so yeah so yeah guys that is it for today's video thanks for sticking with me if you guys like me if you guys like this video then please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys this is my other favorite. This is my dog. I need a cutest. I need a cutest. Mwah.